I'm Karen, and I'm a yarn addict. I got the yarn in that I said I had a little bit more ordered yesterday from Ives. <laughs> I love this, y'all. It's different. I thought I... I can't remember y'all from one minute to the next, and I know y'all gonna say, well, it's the same color you got yesterday. That's not showing up. That is dark teal. And this is a fine one fiber. And get one, uh, one little thread up there. I know it don't look dark teal. Looks navy kind of showing up in mine. But see that? Little old fine one. And there's 800 meters, which makes that, I looked it up. <laughs> Not 800 meters, 900 meters. Did I got in too big of a rush to start this video, y'all. But I'm going to keep going. <laughs> 900 meters is... 984 yards. So, I have four of these. And this is Ice Yarns Crystal. It's 100% acrylic, a super fine one. And the knitting needles is between a two or three, it says. And it's made in Turkey. But this... And this color is salmon again. Uh, some of this stuff with that that I got yesterday, I'm going to put together and crochet with it and make some pretty, pretty yarn. I've gone a little off my rocker this morning. Uh, I'm still crocheting on the shawl and... By Monday, hopefully, I'll have that finished and show y'all. There's no use of me showing y'all this much more to it when I can finish it. And this is the other yarn I got. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm going to get some more of this stuff. It's pretty. I don't think I can make anything this. This is... Let me get the percentage. 67 tinsel and 33 polymine. And it's 125 meters, and I didn't look up the conversion of that. The name of this is Rockabilly Colors. Tinsel, though, I did look up because I wanted to see exactly. I had read a little bit of what it was, but I wanted to look it up and find out exactly, and I wrote it down because I didn't want to trust my memory to tell y'all this. And the colorway of this is just uh, lilac white and light lilac or something. Anyway, that's okay. And it, it feels so silky. Oh, it's pretty. Let me tell you about tinsel, though. Tinsel is a fiber that's made from wood pulp of trees that are grown and then replaced on specialized farms. And it was... Um, the first facility, I believe, I didn't write that down, back in 72, and they still have a facility there in Inca, E-N-K-A, North Carolina. The thing about this, the procedure they use to make the tinsel fiber is they use a recyclable uh, and earth-friendly solvent in it when they're processing it from the wood pulp and it makes a fabric that is very breathable and it's very wrinkle resistant if you put tinsel with like cotton you know how cotton plain cotton if you've got a cotton shirt just it'll wrinkle up if you put a little throw some tinsel in there it's gonna help prevent wrinkles and the polyamide is 
I always thought when they put polymide, it was just like polyester, and they are in the same family. But uh, that's also the nylon family, and that gives it a little more, I guess, stretch and soft. I'm not sure how stretchy and soft this tinsel would be by itself. I've never seen just plain tinsel. They do have some eye charm. It's just tinsel. I saw that. But, uh, oh, a number four. That's what I was looking to see the size of it. It's got a, can't see that real there. It's got a halo on there, but it's pretty. I love that. Beautiful. But, I just wanted to hop back on here today because as I thought, and it wasn't long after I did my video that the package came. And I thought, nah, I'm not going to go mess up that video since I already had to do it twice yesterday. I just decided that that video was going to go on like it was. <laughs> so, uh, I don't have a lot more to tell y'all. I just love jumping on here and saying hi to y'all. And I'm not going to keep you forever. You know. Uh, there was something I did want to say to y'all, but I've totally forgot now what it was. Oh well. It'll come to me an hour from now. Or as soon as I get through with this video, it'll be like, Karen, you said you were going to tell them so and so. But if it's important enough, I'll tell y'all the next video. <laughs> okay, y'all. Oh, I got to flip my hair. I got an appointment to get my hair cut. It's May 29th. <laughs> so we'll see if there's more cases. If more cases come up in Georgia by then for the reopening that we jumped the gun and we start accumulating more cases, I won't go and it'll just grow out longer. But if everything goes on like it's going, then I'll uh, get my hair cut at the end of May. But, y'all, I have Facebook, and it's a group, and y'all can show all the projects y'all have been doing and see what everybody else has been doing if you come on over and join my group. Bridget at Bridget Queen's Crochet and Dance, uh, she helps me with that. Uh, and so, just come on. We've got three little questions to answer, and one of us will let you in. And if it takes a little bit of time, I'm sorry because I sometimes don't look fast enough during the day. I'm going to have to get Mr. Knott. He looks at Facebook all the time. I'm going to have to show him what to do, where, or at least where he can say, hey, you got somebody that wants to get in the group where Bridget's busy during the day. She's up at night, so... She lets folks in in the middle of the night. <laughs> she does other times, too. You know, y'all, I'm, I'm kidding here. But y'all come on over and join with my Facebook group. I also have Instagram and Twitter. And I hope to be posting a little more photos and all this summer in Instagram. I'm going to try to go outside and take some pictures that are a little bit prettier and nicer. But. Y'all, I continue to keep all of you in my prayers, and I keep all of our leaders, not just in our country, but around the world, to hopefully the doctors and nurses and lab people and everybody that has anything to do with the hospitals and EMTs and just everybody in working in the field, I keep all of those people, but I'm praying it maybe especially hard or I'm praying whatever for them to find a cure, a vaccine. I mean, it's a virus. I don't think they're going to ever just get the cure, but a vaccine for it or something to uh, help with this virus because it's such a deadly virus. But I do. I keep all of you in my prayers. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you like it, please go down there and subscribe and then hit the little notification bell beside it. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. 
And then you have to go down there because I said, please, leave me a comment down below in the comment section, okay? Would love for you to. I always, always enjoy reading y'all's comments. But the most important part is, y'all, you know it. You out there have to keep coming back because I'm me. I'm going to be here. And y'all know it. I love you all.